Hi, my name is Lori. I'm with Washington State Animal Response Team, also known as WASART, and I've also been in search and rescue for over 20 years. And with me today is Jennifer. Hi, I'm Jennifer, as Lori said, and I am part of Summit to Sound Search and Rescue with the dog unit, and I am also a dog trainer. And we are here today to show you what a dog paw kit is and how you can use it if your dog gets injured and scrapes or bruises or burns their paws up on a trail and how you can get them down the mountain. This is not a replacement for veterinary care. This is just to help you get your dog back to your car so that you can then take your dog to the vet. Let's talk about dog booties. We have several different styles of dog booties here. And I would like to start with this one. It's a nice thin little booty. You can just put right up over your dog's paw and strap it up. We then move to the next booty that has a little bit more of a footing, a little bit of a grip on the footing, and it looks like it's a little bit more waterproof. And again, you slip it on your dog's paw and Velcro it up. Next, we go to kind of the fancy, I like to call this the go-go booty. And this one, you have to take it and unzip it all the way, slip your dog's paw in there and then again you zip it up. It can be more stable to keep on the dog's foot because it's a little bit taller. It also has some plastic and a nice little protection here on the bottom. The last one is the rough wear and again you slip it on your dog's foot, use the velcro. This one has a nice traction on the bottom and the nice plastic area here for protection. You want to be careful when you have this one on versus this one because it's very important to re remember that your dog actually breathes and sweats and perspires through its paws. So if you have them in this one right here, they don't have a way to do that. So you want to give them a break every half an hour or so and get their paws out, give them lots of water, wet their paws down. The other reason you might use it is ice or snow. All of these would work depending on how much traction you need. The other thing is a hazardous area. You want to use, um, put a booty on a dog. Let's say for search and rescue, we put them on if we have to search an area that has broken glass or metals or a new construction area just to keep the dogs safe and so they don't cut their paws. So this is what I usually carry in my emergency paw kit. I carry maxi pads. I have at least four per dog that's going out on a walk with me. If I'm going out on a rescue, then I'm gonna take a lot more. Then we have vet wrap. This uh, is self-adhesive, it sticks to itself, it does not stick to the animal. The one thing to be aware of is vet wrap shrinks as it gets hot or as it gets warm, so you want to continuously check to make sure it's not restricting the blood flow and put it on snug enough to do its job but not so tight that it's going to cut off the circulation. We have an optional layer of um, a water barrier which can be used if it's raining or if you think the dog's going to have to walk through some water. Um, but this is optional. Then we have wool socks. Short ones, well, anklets are the best but regular wool socks will work just fine. We always use wool, we do not use cotton. And I pick mine up at the local thrift store. And then the final layer is duct tape. Make sure that when you put this on, you don't get the dog's fur in the duct tape. And we will show you some examples of that. I also always carry something to use as a muzzle, because no matter how great your dog is, when you're doing first aid, you always want to muzzle it. Okay, I'd like to introduce you guys to Fitner, and she is going to help demonstrate with us on how to use the paw kit and put it on your dog's paw to get him safely down a mountain or trail. First of all, we have the emergency muzzle. There's also a video, especially for this, that you guys can watch if you need to, but we're going to just put this on. It's not always the dog's favorite thing. But with this, your dog is safe and so are you. 
And then we're going to start with the maxi pad. Thank you. Uh oh, there you go, big girl. We wrap the maxi pad around, and the adhesive on the maxi pad will help it stick. And then we go for the vet wrap. Thank you. Again, this is on firmly but not too tight, you guys. Just do a couple wraps, doesn't have to be much. And then we're going to cut it. Thank you. So she can still bend her ankle. Yep, she can still bend, and it's just on the paw. And then we're going to do the plastic bag, and this helps keep all this dry if she's going through creek beds or mud puddles or it's raining out. And we just wrap it firmly on there, and then we put the sock on top. Fitner's doing a very nice job of showing you guys how to do this. Okay. And then we're going to use a little duct tape right here to give her a little texture and help her grip on the trail. And you can do a piece like this, or you can wrap it all the way around. Just don't wrap it too tight. It's not there to hold on the sock. It's just there to help the dog grip when they're walking. And then we're going to do a little vet wrap up at the top to keep the sock on. And there. Fitner and I are ready to go down the mountain. I think I'll take her muzzle off first. There we go. Good girl. And we're ready to go. Let's go, Fitty. Let's go. Good girl. <laughs> okay, we gotta roll over. You can, you can muzzle her right like that. <laughs> <laughs>